Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Geekbench 5 test as well as an Antutu benchmark test and share with you the results. I got a couple of requests if I could make this video. So the first thing what I want to do is share with you that I do not have the battery saving mode on. So as you can see in the status bar right there, it has been disabled. So there's no battery saving mode features on while I'm going to be performing this test. Also, the background apps are completely clear. So let's go ahead and jump right into this and opening up Geekbench 5. And you can be able to see right there some of the specifications regarding the Bolt N1. So this does have the MediaTek Helio P70 chipset, clocked at 2.1 gigahertz. You got four gigabytes of RAM on this as well. You can see the resolution as well as the pixels per inch there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and run the Geekbench 5 test. Now this test can take some time to complete. Sometimes it has taken almost 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this and share with you the results. So here we go with the results. Single core score, we got 305. Multi core score, 1448. So, as you can see, you got some system information there the processor information. Now I know some people, they really want to know these numbers and this information. So I'll kind of scroll down a little bit here and you can see some more when it comes to the single core performance and the score that it did get. I'll go ahead and scroll further down and I'll go ahead and scroll further down so you can see exactly in each column what the bold and one scored. And as you can see, you got the multi-core performance there. So again, I know these numbers don't mean much for everybody, but for some people, they really want to know the specifics and they really want to know what the Geekbench 5 score is, as well as the Antutu benchmark test before they go out and purchase this device. But there it is right there with the single core 305, multi-core score of 1,448. And I'll go ahead and take a look at how it compares when it comes to the single core score with some other devices on the market. So again, we got 305 single core score. And as you can see, scrolling down, it is, you know, below the Galaxy S7, uh, right below the Galaxy A8, but it is above the Tab S3 and above the Galaxy S6. Now into multi-core score, 1,448. As you can see what some other devices score, some flagship devices. And keep in mind, this is basically a $200 smartphone, but as you can see where it scores and where it is right beneath some other devices in the market. All right, let's go ahead and do the Antutu benchmark test. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this test because this test can take a while and I don't want this video to be too long. So let's speed through this. All right, so the test is complete and we get a score of 144,591. Beneath that, you can see some additional scores for the CPU, the GPU, as well as the UX and the MEM. Now, when it comes to the N22 benchmark test, that is the score that we get on the Bolt N1, 144,591. And jumping into ranking, we'll just take a quick look at where the Bolt N1, you know, stacks up against some other devices on the market. So I'll scroll down till I find the Bolt N1, and there it is. As you can see, it's number 45, right above the Mi 8 Lite, the Galaxy A50, Redmi Note 7, and some additional devices to the bottom there. But yeah, for those of you that were interested in these numbers, for the Geekbench 5, the N22 benchmark test. Hopefully this video does help you out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos just like this. This is Paul Tech, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.